This your boy JTB the artist at Northside Affiliate and I just hopped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been popping my collar for quite a few years. All right, so we got the one and only JTB the artist jumping off the porch with us. Welcome, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. Appreciate y'all having me for sure. Yeah, man. How we feeling first off, man? I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> For real, man. I feel like a million bucks. I feel like I'm on a cloud right now. You know, shit's starting to move for me. Okay. You know, so I feel like I'm on a cloud right now. Nah, I'd love to hear that too, man. Yeah. You got a lot of people up there, man. You want to shout out your people sitting up there that came out here to support hey, you today right too? Here, gang, gang, right here, man. Yo, <laughs> hey, this the core, you know what I mean? This the core, you know what I mean? Uh, this Jazzy the Beast, Kiara, J Bless, T the Goat. And okay. this is my core right here, they, you know what I mean? We all made the core. They all do music too, you know, oh, so. Real? Yeah, they all do music too, so we the core. So, y'all yeah, be looking out for that core too. We, we, we coming out with some stuff too. Like so, a compilation project? Yeah, or? A compilation project, yeah. Oh, that's dope right there. Yeah, it's a compilation project. How long y'all you guys been rocking with each other then? About three months now for me. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so this is new. <laughs> this is new, this is all new. We actually got brought together, uh, it was another project that all of us was on called Strength in Numbers. Mm -hmm. Y'all go check that out too. Go check that out. It's running up too. Uh, but Strength in Numbers brought all of us together. We did a compilation project called Strength in Numbers uh, on another label. And uh, we just, all of us gelled together and we stuck together. You know what I mean? So this is where we at. This okay. is where we at. You know, wherever you go, you go wherever I go, you're going to see them. Wherever they at, you're going to see me. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's us. We core. So y'all kind of hit it off right away then, huh? Right away, right yeah. away. Definitely. Same energy. We all had the same energy. Yeah. yeah. So what's the vibes, what's the chemistry like when you guys are all cooking up then and creating together? We had a writer session, when was that? About a month or so ago? About a month ago, we had a writer se session. We uh, rented an Airbnb and all of us got together to write some new music and stuff. And it was straight, man. Mm -hmm. you, we actually recorded that night, thanks to T to go, bring out a portable studio. Okay. You know, so we actually recorded that night, got some stuff done. But the vibe is, man, it's so energetic when we all around each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's different. Our movement is different than a lot of other people's movements. You yeah. know what I mean? Because as you can see, it's one guy. <laughs> that is different, right? You know, it's, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? Most dudes, they pop out with a bunch of dudes. They're my core right here. They're my core. Nah, that's what's good, man. This is who I trust right here. They're okay. my core. Can't wait to check out some of this music that y'all been cooking up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit hard, too, I'm telling you. Okay. Shit hard. Shit hard. Jazzy got a project that she, she about to drop. She about to drop a project. All of us got stuff that we about to come out individual. And, but we working on that core, too. We working on that core project, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, but hashtag Black Waldo on everything still. Don't forget that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get to the project in a minute, man. But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. let's go ahead and dive into your story first off. So, you uh, from Gwinnett? Like, born and raised? Nah, not born and raised. Okay. I, I raised in South Carolina and uh, moved to Gwinnett on my own. Just got tired of South Carolina and all the bullshit that was going on up there with me <laughs> and, you know, some other people. And I just decided to change my scenery. So, uh, one Sunday, I told my best friend, man, I'm sick of South Carolina. Hmm. You know, I want you to put all that you, the, all, that, all that I got in your car that you can, and I'm going to put all that I got in my car. The rest of it, you can sell it, throw it away, I don't care, but I'm going to hit the highway. He was like, well, where you going? I said, I don't know. I said, I'm either going 85 North or 85 South. <laughs> so I'm going to fill my car up, and wherever I stop and get gas at, that's where I'm going to be at. And Gwinnett yeah. County is where I came to. Oh, wow. True. So what part of South Carolina are you from then? I'm from a town called Anderson. Okay. I'm familiar with Anderson. Yeah, you know I Anderson. went there. I was there once, so I'm not that familiar, oh, yeah. but I've been You're there. You're not familiar with Anderson then. <laughs> <laughs> you probably was up by the mall, Clinton Boulevard, up on that end. No, I don't know. I think I was in the trenches of oh, Anderson. you was in the trenches? Yeah, because I went out there with an artist, and yeah, he was, uh, okay. he was yeah, a little yeah. trapped out. Yeah, you might have been in the trenches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have been in the trenches then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got three sides there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just like any other city, you know, we north side, east side, south side, west side. I'm from the east side of Anderson. Okay. That's where I'm from. So what goes on on the east side of Anderson, man? The same shit that go on on the south, the west, and the north. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of hustling. <laughs> whole lot of killing. Mm -hmm. 
you know, so, but it's, it's home, you know what I mean? It's what, it's, it's what I know, and it made me who I am today, you know, so shout out to Anderson, shout out to all my people there, y'all know what it is, East Brick all day. Yeah. So at what point did you move down here then? Like how, 10 years ago? Like how long ago was that, that you moved down here? Uh, probably about 17 years ago, I think. Okay. Somewhere in there. So you've been out here, man. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a good niche now. <laughs> I'm a good niche. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a Gwinnisha now, you did. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I just moved to Gwinnett. I didn't realize there was a term for it. Yeah, we're a Gwinnisha now. <laughs> but we real, 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 you know what I mean? OSDL all day, you know what I mean? We outside them lines all day. OSDL all day. Okay. Uh, so going back, to, you know, growing up in Anderson, like what were you into as a kid? Were you into sports? Were you always into music or what was he doing? Sports, music, hustling, hoes, shit. <laughs> You name it, I was into it. You name it, I was into it, man. I'm a, I'm a explorer. You know, I, I, my motto in life is I'll try anything once, two times if I was unsure about it the first time. <laughs> That's just my motto. So I, yeah. I got into a lot of shit. You know what I mean? I got into a lot of shit. When would you say you jumped off the porch? How old were you? I didn't, I didn't really jump off the porch. You know, my brother and them, bro, they was already out the porch. You know, it's, I, I'm the baby of nine kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, so being the baby of nine kids with five older brothers, they already out the porch. So I'm really out the porch with them, but I'm just learning. I'm in training at that time. You know what I mean? I probably jumped out the porch myself probably about 15. Okay. Probably jumped off 15. And uh, straight up from now. <laughs> so you would say like, you were well prepared at that time. Oh right? yeah, I was well, I was seasoned. <laughs> I was seasoned. I, I, when I jumped off the porch, I was already the man. I was already the man. So, learned a lot from them guys. Okay. And what'd you do after school? Did you go to college or? I went to prison. <laughs> you went to prison. <laughs> That's a form of college though. You learn a lot of shit in there. You know what I mean? Well, it's definitely a learning experience out here, so. You learned a lot of shit in that bitch. Wait, how old were you when you went to prison? 18? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Young, young, you know, but I did some college too, but I found out real quick working for somebody else ain't for me, <laughs> you know, so couldn't do it. Got out, you know what I mean? Had to get a job because I'm on papers. And uh, these people like, you know, give me my check and that shit like $186. And I'm like, what the fuck I'm finna do with $186? I piss $186. So, I climbed back up the steps on the porch and jumped my ass back off. <laughs> jumped my ass back off. That's what I did. How long did you have to sit down? I did 18 months, I did okay. 18 months. Okay. I, but I had a 15 suspended to 18 months. True. Yeah. Good lawyer. A lot of money, though, God Yeah. Damn. But good lawyers. Good lawyers get you out of a lot of shit. No, that's real. Yeah. yeah. So when it comes to the music, at what point does that come, uh, you know, part of your life then? Music always been a part of my life. You know, I, I, I'm a music head. I, I, I listen to music before I watch TV, you know. <laughs> I just don't, I, I, I let music paint my picture for me. I don't like everybody else's picture sometimes. So I let music paint the picture for me. So I've been in the music for a minute now, you know. Seriously, you know, probably about five years now, five, six years. Okay. But it's always been a part of my life. I've always, you know, even when I was in South Carolina, me and my best friend and my cousin had a little group. We were touring around the little clubs, hmm. you know, doing stuff. but. Um, it's, it's always been a part of my life. So what happened five years ago that made you really want to jump into this shit and start taking it serious now? I found out I was pretty good <laughs> at the shit, you know. Like people telling you, like, hey. Yeah, people telling me, you know what I mean? People telling me I started buying equipment, you know, and listening to myself, you know, and this shit sound good. It was different. It don't sound like nobody else shit. Hmm. That's what most people tell me, you know, you straight different. You don't sound like nobody else. You, you different. Your beat selections are different. The, you know, your, 
delivery, your cadences, all of this stuff is different. So I decided, hey, and if y'all say it's different, then y'all say it'll go. Let's try it. Uh -huh. So I tried it. Yeah. So how would you describe this journey you've been on these past five years then? A lot of ups and downs in this shit or? Man, this shit is a roller coaster. Man, this shit is you can't have a weak heart and want to do music. Mm -hmm. You can't have it, man. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to accept that word, no. Mm -hmm. Got to be able to accept that shit because you're going to hear that a lot. You gotta, you're going to hear that shit a lot. But you got to keep grinding. You, you got to take criticism for you know, for the betterment of you, you can't look at criticism as something that's, you know, offensive from somebody or, you know, and jump on the defense. You got to look at it as encouragement, for real. I took everybody criticism as encouragement. They telling me, bro, it, it, it don't sound good. If you do a little bit of this or if you change this, then it might work a little bit better. I, I didn't take it as criticism. I took it as instruction. Yeah, or you advice. Know, you like telling that. me what the people want to hear. Y'all are the people. Y'all telling me what the people want to hear, you know. So I started applying what they said, and that's why I got, that's that's how I got to here. Okay, okay. Uh, so taking a step back, like who'd you grow up listening to? Who were some of your favorite artists when you first started rapping? I should say. Man, I listened to some of everybody. Uh, shit, Jay Z. T.I., I mean, I listen to everybody. I'm West Coast, I'm everything, you know what I mean? Uh, E-40, all of them. Mac Trey, all of them. I, li I listen to everybody. So I had a mixture of everything, and I really think that's what made my style different because I wasn't stuck in the box when it came to music. I listened to everything, not just dead. I listened to pop, rock, all of that. I listened to everything. So I... It's just, I think that's what gave me what I needed to be different. Because if I hear something in a beat and it's real popish, I'm going to come up with something pop. It's not going to come out like rap. You know, yeah. it's going to come out like pop. So it is what it is. Okay. And what's your creative process like? Do you write your raps or you just punch in, do both? I punch or? in. Okay. Now I punch in. Writing, writing is cool. But I got my own studio at the crib, you know, so sitting down writing to me, I'm taking up too much time when I can just punch in, sit here, come up with something else, punch it in. You don't like it? Oh, yeah. I like it a little bit. Save it. Uh, punch it in again. It's just like writing and erasing. I'm just putting it on, the, you know, I'm just putting it in the computer. Yeah. And when do you feel like you make your best music then? It's like when you're in a good mood or you're pissed off or you're going through good some heartbreak? Good music comes from all of that, though. Yeah. It, it, it depends on the person that's listening to it. Good music comes from all of that. So I feel like I make good music all the time because whether I'm happy, sad, mad, pissed off, you know, it, 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 if I'm writing music about that, it's somebody out there going through the same thing that might enjoy hearing my, my pain, my struggle, my happiness, you know what I mean, my downfalls. You know, so, yeah, when you make real music, that that's the shit that people can shit, relate exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, when it ain't cap music, man, you know, it's shit that people can relate to. They can feel your pain. They can feel your happiness in your music. Absolutely. You know, they can feel it. Yeah. So, what's the meaning behind JTB? Is this just your initials, or? Hey, I'm gonna give you a guess, cause all of them didn't know it either. Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. They didn't know it either. <laughs> they didn't know it either. Just the something, right? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't even just. Yeah, it's, uh, we could be here all day. <laughs> JTB stands for Juvie the Barber. Hmm. Because when I, you know, when I first got here, I mean, I was cutting hair in South Carolina too, but when I first got here, that's when I took cutting hair serious. Hmm. I was just doing it all day to kind of have somewhere to go to keep my place. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was just doing it to have somewhere to keep my place. But... Um, yeah, it stands for Juvie the Barber. So Juvie the Barber, the artist. Juvie the Barber, <laughs> the artist. There you go. Okay. JTV, the artist. Yeah. You yeah. still cutting hair today then? Yeah, I own a barber shop and a hair salon. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's and true. I also own a small plumbing and handyman service. You want to go ahead and promote this? Like, where, where's the barber shop at? Oh, uh, yeah. The barber shop is on 4055 Fort Trick and Work. Commercial, right quick. 4055 Fort Trick and Road, Lilburn, Georgia, 30047. Hair salon in the same place. Small Drills Plus, you can just Google us, Small Drills Plus Handyman Services. 
and we'll take care of your needs. Now that's back to the gangster shit. <laughs> now that's now dope. How long have you had the barbershop then? <laughs> the barbershop, 10 years. Oh shit. Yeah, 10 years, hair salon, seven years. So who who be running the hair salon? I know you ain't doing that, right? Nah, I got I got a manager. <laughs> I got somebody that run it for me. Okay. I got a manager that run the barbershop too. Okay. So, so and I got a manager that run the plumbing company. So, <laughs> I that's the best way to do it, right? Yeah, that's it, bro. That's <laughs> it. It free up my time to do what I really want to do, and that's music. Yeah. Was it a big leap of faith at the at the time to open the barbershop, or? It was a leaf of faith, but more so like pissed off at the shop that I was working at. <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to show and, you. <laughs> you know, we, you work hard and you done saved a little money and you feel like you can't tell me what the fuck to do no more. I got a little money and I open up my own shit on you. That's what I did. That's how it happened. Long story short, he wanted the dude to bring a dog in the shop. We're not supposed to have dogs in the shop. I kept telling him, don't bring the dog in the shop. Eventually, he told me, this is my shop. If you don't like when I say bring the dog in the shop, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's what did it. I finished coming my people, went out his door, around the corner to a building that was behind us that used to be a braid shop, called the owner, hey, I need to lease this place today. That quick? I need it today. That quick you made that he, call? Yeah, he said, well, I need, to, I, I need to at least show you the space and I need to give you a lease. And I was like, nah, I don't need to see nothing. I want a plumbing and handyman service. I can, I can do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can get it. I can get it how I need it. I ain't worried about that. And boom, over my first shop. Oh shit. Had a young lady working in the back of my shop in a suite that I built. She was really good at doing weaves. That's how the hair salon came about. Oh, the dude who owned the barber shop where I was working at, when I left, he had to close down. For real? Yeah, he had to close down. So I went around there and leased that spot and put oh, my I'm, hair salon. I know he mad at you. He probably should have left that damn dog outside, huh? He should have. <laughs> he should have. <laughs> that, I, I'm just saying, it, it's, karma is a motherfucker. <laughs> karma is a motherfucker, huh. boy. Especially when you're dealing with a nigga like me. <laughs> oh, All right, so, you know, let's go back to the music, man. So. All right. Black Waldo Project. Hey. New album out right now. Right now. Right now. Hop on that. Yeah, hop on that. Hop on that. Oh, yeah, we hop on that. Hop on that. Hop on that. Hop on that. Oh, yeah, we hop on that. Money, business, cars. Yeah, we hop on that. Trips like we some stars. Yeah, we hop on that. Thumb through the check. Yeah, we hop on that. Motion, 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 motion. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that Black Waldo going hard. Yeah. It's going hard. Talk about the title first off. Black Waldo. Black Waldo. When I was working on this project, <clears throat> like, Black Waldo was supposed to got released in 2023. But February the 10th, I had, like, New Year's Eve, had saved a little money up, went and bought me a new Jag truck, jumped out in that bitch. I'm the shit now, you know? So when you get too big for your britches, God got a way of showing you that you ain't him. Mm. And February the 10th, I bought the truck, I hadn't even made the first payment on it. And February the 10th, I had a major car accident. Oh, shit. Major car accident. Set me down for like six, seven months. True. You know, so. When I sat around and I thought about, you know, this album and how Waldo, the character Waldo really is, you know, he hard to find, he everywhere, he, he, in, he in here with all of these people, but who is he? You know, where is he? How do you know him? You know, so when I, when I came up with the name Black Waldo, I was like, man, I be everywhere, but don't nobody know me. Don't nobody know me. And Black Waldo Project is my way of getting people to know me. I'm here. I'm here. I know y'all done seen me. Y'all done spotted me. But Black Waldo here now. I'm here now. Y'all see me now. Y'all got to see me now. Yeah. And talk about the title track on there, Black Waldo, and the music video. It looked like you had a lot of fun shooting this shit. Ah, uh, man, it was fun. A lot of work, too. Shit. 
<laughs> wow, that shit was a lot of work. Man, it took us seven hours to shoot that video. Seven hours to get everything that we needed. Hmm. And it still wasn't like I wanted it. So hmm. that's another story. But uh, the video, it was shot by a cam 4K. And we put it all together and, you know, it, it was just a good fun day, man. We had a lot of fun shooting that video. Yeah. It was, it was top notch. I had a lot of good people around me. I don't think we was jailed yet, were we? We wasn't jailed. We wasn't jailed yet. But we, we, we had, had met. met. We had met, but we wasn't jailed. That's why you don't see them in it. Cause had we been like this, oh, that'd have yeah, been. <laughs> Cause hop on that, that hop on that video. We about to shoot that soon. Too, That's so the next one. We're going crazy on that. Okay. Yeah, hop on that. We're going crazy on that one. Hmm. What's your vision for that video then? Hop on that. Shh. Okay. <laughs> Keep watching. Now, how's the feedback been since you dropped the project, man? It looked like fans really fucking with it. I know they're oh. fucking with the video. Oh, they fucking with it, man. They fucking yeah, the video. The video, I think, last I checked, got like 19K. It was at 21 yesterday. Oh, it said 21 now, 21K. <laughs> yesterday when I saw 21, it, it 21,000 views. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, they fucking with it. You know, the video is, is, is nice. The song is nice. It's, it's, a, it's a nice, positive song. You know what I mean? It's, it's positive. You know, it's radio ready. It's, it's, it's just a song that, that I felt like when I wrote it, it spoke about me and how I felt about a lot of situations, you know? So it's, it's, it's something to listen to. If you ain't heard it, go listen to it. Black Wild on everything. Yeah. Now, is there another song on the project that you really fuck with that you kind of want to talk about right now? Well, uh, I got some people fucking with I'm a Go right now. It's on okay. the radio, it's on Streets 94.5 tonight. Turn your radio on. Yeah. Mm. It's on Streets 94.5, so, uh, yeah, I got some DJs that's really fucking with it. You know what I mean? And like, shout out to Hustle. You know what I mean? My boy, he really, he, he, he fucking with me, man. He good people. You know what I mean? So he fucking with me. I'm fucking with him. Okay. And, you know, together we, it take a team to really make some shit move. No, you know absolutely. I mean? So yeah. in, the, in the mix of it all, while I'm pushing the music, I'm trying to build me a solid team too. But this is the core. <laughs> Everything else around it. This, this, this Saturn right here. We just need a ring. And no features on the project, right? No features. Yeah, one feature. Oh, there was? Yeah, I got an artist that's in Aruba. Shout out Shiggy G. Yeah, he my first artist that I signed to my label, IC Unit Entertainment. Okay. He my first artist. And he's from Aruba. He's featured on the album two times on them. One song, Loyalty, and the other one, Best Out. He featured on that. But he's my only feature. How'd you discover him in Aruba then? <laughs> I know you was out there last year, right? Yeah, I'll be out there again next Wednesday. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, I'm out there next Wednesday. You know, I got property out there, so I'm out there, you know, okay. quite a bit. I got property out there. Yeah, so. So, how'd you discover him, though? Like, his music playing I'm on sure the radio? He, he just ran to into To be him? honest, check this out. I was, I was at this little spot, South Beach in Aruba, and I met this guy, we call him Boogie, because he always dancing. He danced all the fucking time. <laughs> And, you know, we call him Boogie. So um, he started telling me about these two guys that he knew that were really good in Aruba. They just weren't getting a fair shot because they couldn't get outside of Aruba. <laughs> so uh, he took me to meet them. I listened to a few of their songs and I really wanted to sign both of them. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. So, you know, but together they were dynamic. Separate, they're, they're excellent, but together they were dynamic. <laughs> So, you know, but Shooky, Shooky, he go, you know what I mean? Check him out, he on loyalty and best out with me. He, he, he go hard too, he got his own little style. You know, he got that Caribbean flow in with it, but he can rap his ass off. Oh, that's dope right there. Yeah, yeah, he can rap his ass off. And I saw, you know, you shared a pic of you and some kids in Aruba, and you talk about how you be mentoring uh, Yeah, we do. I, I do the mentoring over there. Uh, actually, when I go this time, uh, I got a group of kids that I want to get together and take out, probably take them shopping. But I do the mentoring over there, you know, for a lot of the kids that's single parent households. And it's not just little boys, I do little girls, you know, we, I, I get them all together and I uh, rent a Sprinter van and we just, you know, take them to do some stuff that they don't normally get to do. 
How'd you get into doing that? Was that something you always wanted to do, or is that some stuff you were doing nah, here in my the people, States? My people told me it was a need for it, hmm. you know, so I started, you know, I started with a small group of them, really just some, some, some people she knew, and I, uh, the, the group just grew every time I went back because <laughs> I think a lot of them was using me as a babysitter for the night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of the house. Word but, of mouth spreads, right? Yeah, it spread really fast. But I, I enjoyed it, man. It wasn't no biggie, you know what I mean? So I enjoyed it. Nah, salute to you for doing that, man. Yeah. These kids need as much mentorship as they can get these days. They do, man. man. They do. They do. Yeah. They do. Yeah, the youth, man, they, it's, it, it's, it's messed up how they teaching them. And the reason I say that, I went to my son, Phil, they the other day, and even the losers was champions. <laughs> that shit fucked with my mind though, man. Because they telling all of these kids y'all won. You know, ain't no losers. Wait, you know how old I mean? is your son? He in the sixth grade. Yeah, that's a little too old. Yeah, that's too old, I can old, see if man. they like three or five. Yeah, yeah I'm like, man, y'all, y'all, these kids got to learn to lose in life. <laughs> they got to learn to hit it. They got to learn to lose in life. And you telling them all they champions and everybody won and you know, this and that. And I'm like, you know, even though at the end they counted the points for the class, there's no individuality in it, though. Hmm. You know, I, I, when I came up, we had 100 meter dash, all of this stuff. We, you know what I mean? We had a real field day. It was, it was, it was class participation in this one. And in life, you're not always going to be in no class. You're not going to always be around people. You got to learn to use your critical thinking skills on your own because you ain't got nobody else to come up with the idea that all y'all pitch in together. So it kind of messed with me a little bit. You know, but hey. No, that's real. What yeah. can I do? Yeah. But the ones that I can mentor to, I try to mentor to. Like even in my barbershop, you know, it's a lot of single moms coming out of barbershop, you know. So I try to mentor to those kids too. Try to keep them, you yeah. know. Nah, salute to you on for that, that straight too. Positive. Yeah. I mean, I know it's hard. I've been young before too, man. And it's, it's a lot of shit to get into out here. It's a lot. Yeah, especially these days with social media and everything, yeah, too. it's a lot, man. It's, it, it's it, a young kid's mind and social media aren't supposed to be together, bro. Yeah. They, they, kids don't need to be on social media. Yeah, it's like giving them too much access. Too much access. It's opening the world up to them, you know what I mean? And it's a given. Kids that grow up fast have problems later on in life. Mm. They have problems, you know, because they, they seen so much too soon. And... You know, so, yeah, it's a lot to get into, but y'all stay focused, man. Real shit. Yeah. Stay focused. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing that you want to do, that you can't be what you want to be, because I had a lot of people telling me that, and look what I've accomplished. You know, so you can't let people discourage you in what you want to do in life. You say you want to be president, shoot for president. You might not be president, but you'll be in Congress. And guess what? Congress ruled the president. They're the ones making them pass they made, these rules. They, 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 the pass, they pass the laws. Yep. They rule the president. Yeah. So, hey, don't give up. Keep striving. No, that's real. Yeah. Uh, JTB, looking ahead to 2024, the rest of the year, man. What's some goals? What's some plans you got set for yourself? Plans I got? I want to get this tour started, you know what I mean? I feel like we need to get out and, you know, let more than just Georgia hear where we coming from. And I say we because, you know, all of our music I think is a go, you know what I mean? So for me, I want to see us get out there a little bit more, maybe try to put a little tour together so we can go see what's popping in a couple of other places. And, uh, you know, I got another project that I'm about to start working on, a mixtape project that I'm going to try to drop on my birthday in November. Okay. So, uh, yeah, got a few things in the works, man. A few things in the works. Hopefully, get this down. I'm gonna go up there to at least the top 100. <laughs> we can do it together. We can all do it together. If y'all go out there and call y'all radio stations, ask them to play it, man. If they say they ain't got it, tell them go get it. Find out how to get it. Ask them to just play something off that Black Wall, though. You know what I mean? Ask them to play something off that Black Wall, though. And in return, if you ain't got it, you know what I mean? I got DJ packs available. I can send it to your program directors, your DJs, whoever need it, I can send it to you. I got it on deck. Slanging them guys. <laughs>
Yeah, go ahead and plug your social media so everyone knows where to tap in with you at. Yeah, I'm JTV the artist on everything. Don't put no spaces in between it. I like to keep my people close, my friends and my enemies close. So don't put no spaces in my name. Keep it all together. JTV the artist on everything. Gotcha, man. You got a shout out you like to give before you wrap it up? Uh, shout out to my big bro who just got out. You know what I mean? He almost done made it out of year. He been he set out for 23. Shout out to you, big bro, FG. You know, uh, shout out to my family, my kids. You know, uh, and shout out to the court. Yeah. Shout out strength in numbers too. Yeah. Strength in numbers too. Got to shout them out. You know what I mean? They're my people. They're my people. But yeah, big big shout outs to all of them. But shout out to y'all for having us. No problem. Shout guys. out to y'all for having us for real, man. Shout out to y'all for having us. I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? Allowing us to pop our shit on y'all platform. Yeah. Pop our shit on y'all platform. Yeah, we yeah, hop on that. Yeah, y'all let us hop on that. Yeah. Y'all let us hop on that. Y'all let us hop on the porch. We hop on the porch. Yeah, we hopped on the porch. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been popping my collar for quite a few years. Facts about me, information, no, I 